One additional functionality maybes have is instead of just a get or else, you can actually do something called match with. And if you provide an object, which in our case maybe just says just or nothing, it'll match on which one it is. So if it's a just, it'll call this function. If it's a nothing, it'll call this function. So instead of get or else, you can actually run a function. The just will have the value. It's the first and only parameter that you destructure. It's the same for anything you put in it. And nothing never has a value because it's nothing. But the point here is that you can transform that data or run a function to do whatever you want. You can see we're not even using the value here. We're just saying, look, you have a first name or you do not. So if we run this example, very similar to the same one before, the difference is, is that we're changing the response to result. And we're taking that maybe and then running a function on it rather than just saying, you know, get or else the default value. And this is nice because if we remove the first name, then our second function will run. This one said it had a first name. We run it again, it does not have a first name. And so we don't care about the data, we're just trying to detect things about it based on these maybes. And this guarantees that you handle both if you correctly spell both one of these. What you do is you bring this together with something like a lodash get to validate more complex data. So you start composing these functions together to do more real world stuff such as validating data is there and then giving really helpful responses or errors or information back as to why they're not. So in the next example, we'll bring them all together and show you how you can validate a bearer token for